this morning is college recruitment and support, and we're talking to Dean uh, John Cade from Tennessee State University and Mr. Lewis Lewis, the uh, director of the foundation at Tennessee State University. And of course, Mr. Lewis, before we had our uh, first commercial break, uh, we were talking to uh, Dean Cade about recruitment. But I think one of the things that uh, is very, very important in terms of recruitment, and as you've indicated earlier, is the kind of support, and especially financial support. And we do understand that the uh, Tennessee State University Foundation is an entity that provides money, but it's not connected with the federal, and that's one reason we wanted to talk about it, because I think that many people assume that if it's a state-supported institution, then all of the money is already available. And of course, your organization represents uh, something that deals with this as an issue. Yes, um, we no longer can depend upon federal dollars uh, to support education. As we look and hear every day about cutbacks. Uh, one of the things that uh, we must realize that tuition, room and board, mm -hmm. fees that uh, are assessed to our students are not federal dollars. Mm -hmm. uh, there is an income uh, bracket that places our students mm -hmm. and you must be uh, at a level so in many instances our students are cut out because mm -hmm. the level of income is so low mm -hmm. to qualify for financial assistance mm -hmm. that our students are not able to to to, uh, to get the mm -hmm. monies that's mm -hmm. necessary mm -hmm. that's where the foundation comes in mm -hmm. we go out after private dollars mm -hmm. uh, we look for private resources from mm -hmm. our, our friends corporations uh, our alumni uh, to support uh, our educational programs but not only do we try to get money for scholarships we need it for faculty development mm -hmm. we need it for facilities management mm -hmm. uh, state institutions can no longer say that federal or state dollars will support mm -hmm. uh, support our institutions if we are going to be competitive and we are going to continue to compete with other universities mm -hmm. around this world we must go after the same dollars that our private institutions are looking for mm -hmm. Uh, we have a board of trustees at Tennessee State University that's composed of uh, business uh, leaders within the community uh, mm -hmm. and our alumni. Uh, they support us. They are the vehicle to open doors and opportunities mm -hmm. for us to go out and to recruit money. We have to plan. We are looking at our plan giving program. We're asking that uh, our alumni, our friends, if you have monies that mm -hmm. are available that you need to, uh, uh, I say, get rid of you know, and to take a tax uh, break invest, or invest, uh -huh. mm -hmm. uh, you know, think of Tennessee mm -hmm. State University. Uh, we produce uh, your product. I always say to the business community, mm -hmm. I have a product. Mm -hmm. I have the best and the brightest. Mm -hmm. And if you want the best product, then you, anything that you want that's good for you, you're mm -hmm. going to have to pay for it. Mm -hmm. And if you're willing to give us the scholarships to go out and to recruit the best and the brightest, then we can put the best and the brightest into your, in your organization. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's what we ask. Mm -hmm. uh, we need to increase our private, private dollar. Mm -hmm. And in order to do that, we must get the support. And mm -hmm. we do have that support. Mm -hmm. Uh, just look at our foundation dinner this yeah, past yeah, year. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, we were, had over a thousand people to come out and to, uh, to mm -hmm. support us. And that's business and corporations. And we thank mm -hmm. them uh, for their support mm -hmm. and continue to ask them to be a part of Tennessee State University. Mm -hmm. I'm often told by the community that we're one of the best kept secrets in Nashville. Mm -hmm. And all I say is that when you come and you look at that beautiful campus, uh, you get an opportunity. I take students out with me, mm -hmm. and I, you get an opportunity to meet the caliber of students that Dr. K mm -hmm. uh, is recruiting for us, and some of the things that he's doing over. And I'd mm -hmm. like for him to just to kind of tell mm -hmm. you what he's doing. To, well, where we work together, our mm -hmm. office work jointly. Mm -hmm. I talk with his office. He talks with my office. We have identified mm -hmm. students together. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, we try to give you the product that you are looking for. And that's the student that graduate from Tennessee State mm -hmm. University and go on to be your employee. Mm -hmm. uh, Dr. Kay. Mm -hmm. I would add to uh, what Mrs. Lewis is saying that uh, when it comes to the amount of monies mm -hmm. that are available for students who uh, qualify for scholarships, we certainly could not 
uh, supply, mm -hmm. uh, offer the number of scholarships that we do if it were not for the Office of mm -hmm. Foundation. Uh, yes, we do have uh, scholarships that we offer um, mm -hmm. uh, black, white uh, uh, students. Uh, but oftentimes, here mm -hmm. again, that money to, is, isn't mm -hmm. enough. Mm -hmm. So certainly by mm -hmm. working uh, jointly and collaboratively mm -hmm. with uh, Mrs. Lewis and her office, mm -hmm. we are able to get the most out of uh, what we have to mm -hmm. our offer. Uh, when students are, know that they have many options relative to institutions that they can go mm -hmm. to, and if you are looking for the best and brightest, mm -hmm. and certainly we are, uh, but we aren't the only school mm -hmm. that's looking for that mm -hmm. population of students. So we have to be very competitive. Mm -hmm. We have to be in a position whereby we can say to these students, yes, we can offer you what any other uh, institution offers, and even more. Uh, we give full uh, scholarships. Uh, at this point, of course, we are finished with that process mm -hmm. for the upcoming semester, but we have already begun mm -hmm. targeting students mm -hmm. for the 1999 fall semester. Students that uh, excel uh, and they're, uh, on their SAT scores, mm -hmm. ACT scores, uh, grade point averages, mm -hmm. uh, 3.5 higher, uh, ACT scores 27, 25, 28 higher. We want those students. Mm -hmm. Now that is not to imply that we do not want those students who fall mm -hmm. at a lower scale mm -hmm. relative to their um, grade point averages mm -hmm. and um, test scores. Mm -hmm. But here again, when it comes to the monies that are available, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. that that's the group mm -hmm. that will more likely get the, uh, what we have. Uh, we have uh, embarked upon several advantages in the advanced technology mm -hmm. that has also aided us in our recruitment efforts mm -hmm. for uh, all students throughout the, uh, the country. Uh, we are probably one of maybe uh, one of two mm -hmm. schools mm -hmm. that uh, have been um, receiving application via the World Wide Web. Mm -hmm. uh, students don't necessarily have to come to our office to get an application. Mm -hmm. uh, they can access uh, to, uh, the, our website mm -hmm. at uh, www.tnstate.edu mm -hmm. and uh, submit an application over the World Wide Web from their uh, mm -hmm. high schools, from their rooms, mm -hmm. from their uh, homes. Mm -hmm. And um, once we get them, we are keep want to retain them mm -hmm. as well so here again we have mm -hmm. provided a means whereby they can register mm -hmm. via computers and, and, and so let forth. me interrupt you for this last commercial break and after, after which we